wakati tulikuwa tunaenda home tukitoka hosi aliniambia nisiwahi kaambia mtu ni amebaki kwa nyumba akikuwa na hiyo sasa freedom ya kufanya vile anataka so this nani alikuja akaniambia mm. akaniambia kivayo nime nimechoka ananifanyia hivi ananiambia nishike shike huku ananiambia ni kiss nini sasa ndo asira tuligombana that day the, that night ya akachukua simu yake akaenda live on tiktok so people recorded everything watu wali record na sasa hiyo masaa mimi nilikuwa nimekasirika nilikuwa naongea kila kitu Imagine forgiving the ultimate betrayal of a partner not knowing that this is going to cost you a life altering consequence what would you do now today we have a brave lady who is here to share a story with us of how she picked up the pieces of her life and moved forward despite the challenges karibu sana violet to our show Asante sana Ivonne. Uh Violet tell us a little about yourself. How would you describe yourself? Oh, my name is Violet Mukabana. Okay. I'm from um western side of Kenya. Yeah. And I'm 27 year old and I'm a mother of a one of a one girl mm -hmm. who is six years now. Nice. Yeah, so that is me and I'm a business business woman. I'm HIV positive. Mm -hmm. uh, for Six years now. It's been six and, uh, years. And yeah, it, it has been six years um, living with the tiny virus HIV, mm -hmm. and um, and um, I've been on Aries for five years. Mm -hmm. Yes, for almost six years now. For almost six years. Yeah. I am sure this journey has been such a challenging and full of surprises yeah. journey for you. Let's begin from where you meet this person and before you meet this person how is your life like how are you growing up to the point where you're thinking now I'm ready to get into a relationship mm -hmm. tell us a little about that. Uh, of course um, my life was good but not that good because I was rejected by my own dad when I was growing up mm -hmm. I was 9 years old um he rejected me and i become i became homeless because also my mama had died uh, in 2006 yeah so i grew up on my own and life wasn't that good mm -hmm. but at least it was you know th that situation in maisha ni nzuri na si nzuri tena ni iko tu hapo katikati unatafuta tu vile utasurvive yeah but yeah i survived Yeah. Okay. Mm. So kasa ma primary school, high school, then what? So you know now uh, um nime nimefukuzwa kwetu yeah. na babangu amesema mimi si mtoto wake. Mm. And then nikaanza ku like hata kama nimefukuzwa I used I used to love school. Yeah. I used to go to school hata nikifukuzwa na rudi tena. That is primary. Na lala kwa miwa huko western kuna miwa. Kuna mia sugar huko kuna plantation ya sugar cane so yeah. i used to stay inside na lala huko na, na mka asubuhi na osha uso na hiyo the, the dew ya asubuhi unyevu 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 hiyo na osha uso mm -hmm. naenda shule na nilikuwa natembea na vitabu na na uniform so i used to do that nikaambia teachers what i was going through so they used to understand me and they used to keep me, keep me in school sometime when i'm pay chai you know uh -huh. and i survived even nikamaliza mm -mm. siku maliza i was taken in by someone mm -hmm. who was a close um, relative so i was taken in when i was in class four, but i suffered I suffered again hata mm -hmm. ile ningekuwa tu na sasa naishi kwa kwa msitu basi because I, I really suffered but I, I thank them because walinipatia shelter yeah. you know at least sikuwa na lala mm -hmm. kwa baridi mm -hmm. so at least nilikuwa na sehemu yenye nini kwa naenda a shelter you know but it wasn't good it wasn't good but nilikuwa um, that person who is very strong and um nili jipa tu nguvu nikaendelea mm -hmm. i finished primary and my dad i uh, we told my dad like mwenye nilikuwa naishi na yeye mwenye alini take in told my dad that uh, nimemaliza shule and i've passed uh, to anafikiria aje tufanye aje mm -hmm. so what my dad did ali alinifanyia registration eh, inaitwa ile ya kwenda form 4 mm -hmm. leo form 1 akani admit Uh, wakati alimadmit akanibaia tu vitabu 
uniform na na akalipa term one school fee and that was it yeah. that was it hakufanya kitu kingine akanitupa hivyo aka sium kama hayuko and then bora mimi nilikuwa nimeshakuwa admitted what i did ni kuenda kufukuzwa i used to go kutafuta bursaries myself wow. kwa hizo uh, offices i used to tafuta bursary nikipata na soma nikikosa mm-hmm. nafukuzwa form 3 si kusoma form 4 si kusoma but you know while in form 3 mtu register for the uh, cases is so i had already registered so wakati nilifukuzwa i went for good because nimefukuzwa areas ziko mingi mm-hmm. but at, what i wanted is to sit for that case is that is what i, I all wanted and nilifanya mm-hmm. so wakati nilifanya okay see i'm out of school but when um time ya, ya kufanya exam ilifika they had to kunitafuta niende nifanye because nilikuwa nisha register mm-hmm. i did it sikupita sana na sikuanguka mm-hmm. and um, wakati nilimaliza i came in nairobi mm-hmm. yeah sasa hapo ndo story ingine inaanza <laughs> <Yeah>. yenye <laughs> unakuja nairobi kutafuta job ama ni kuendeleza studies Nili zako studies how where because now mm-hmm. niko na areas areas nyingi sana zimepile Uh, high school na kuna mwenye anaweza nilipia na lazima ndio upewe hizo nini papers lazima uwe umemaliza yeah. so mimi what i wanted was to sit for that cases i don't know i really used to kupenda kwenda shule mm. and i did it and i felt i felt good nikafurahi sasa nikajiambia sasa hata however much i still want to go to school mm. siezi ni penye nimefika sasa hapo naona tu ndio mwisho mm-hmm. because sina uwezo wengine ya kuja Nairobi kwenda kufather my studies yeah. hapana so what i did i came in Nairobi nikaanza kufanya kazi ya nyumba i was 18 years mm-hmm. nilimaliza high school nikiwa 18 nikakuja kufanya kazi ya nyumba i did kazi ya nyumba for five months and i used to save all my money Wow. Yeah, I used I, 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 they used to pay me 5000 mm-hmm. in a month. So I saved all my money and I said I want to start my own life and open my own business. I am I am focused. Yes, I'm business oriented like napenda biashara. So I said i pesa niki, niki save for five months I'm gonna start my own life and open my own business. That is what I did. Wow. But it never went so well because i was young i was pia unajua pesa ya biashara lazima ukue na pale pengine kwenye unatoa uje uinue mm-hmm. so sikukuwa na kwenye natoa mm-hmm. ilikuwa tu hii yenye niko nayo i started with it but haikuwa hakukuwa na ya support so it failed again that was in dandora mm-hmm. what this is for this selling uh, vegetables mm-hmm. fruits mm-hmm. yeah easy chakula food stuff yeah. so it failed and i said kama ime fail akusiwezi rudi home ushago i must go on i must look for another job i start over again so i moved from dandora nikakuja ngong mm-hmm. so when i came in ngong um nikapata job uh, nikatafuta job kupata job kama like it's just hard and nilikuwa desperate for a job nikapata job ya club mm-hmm. i was now 19 years that time nikapata kazi ya club it was a small easy club zenye zina zinanuka hizi hizi ziko congested na hizi mm-hmm. pombe yani mbaya tu mm-hmm. it was not good but i did it i walikuwa well, wananilipa 7000 in a month i did it for some time and then that is where i found this person yeah yeah he was drinking at the pub no he was working there how is re- this relationship moving from a point of these are colleagues to now you are in a relationship of course club jobs are not that strict mm. people we used to mingle nini nini mm. so we started dating Alin kaja nikaingia box mm-hmm. lakini I was a virgin still at that point. Yes. Mm-hmm. So alin kaja nikaingia box ingekataa because I was all grown. So I started dating and within two months of dating I was pregnant for him. At this point when you're dating are there some red flags you're seeing in him that there you wasn't no there, there wasn't no red flag mm-hmm. akabisa kuna How would you describe this person? What kind of a person was he? 
he, he was a silent killer maybe <laughs> let me say that yeah. because mm -hmm. i don't know maybe that time i was naive uh -uh. i didn't know i was just there i was just happy having someone but I don't, I don't want to say he was bad mm. because I, I, I once was in love and he's, he's the father of my daughter. Right. Yeah, so I don't want to say he was bad. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. So you discover you're pregnant two months into the relationship? Yes. Now I'm mm -hmm. pregnant and you can imagine the, situ the situation at home. Yeah. My dad doesn't care. I cannot tell him people that i used to stay with we we tulikuwa sana vibaya sana nilitoroka huko because it was too much mm. nikatoroka hakuna vile ningewaambia so i'm just alone i am alone and i'm pregnant sasa akukwa na nje nyingine ilibidi tu ni kae sasa ni move in i moved in by the way when we were dating uh, sikukwa na ishi na because yeah sikukwa na ishi na yeah. but when i got pregnant nika move in na ye mm -hmm. because i had no otherwise singe endelea kufanya hiyo kazi yes cuz na you coming home so i moved i, I moved in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how is life now this is typical marriage now <laughs> 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 ah life was hard it was very hard because uh, i'm not i'm now not working mm -hmm. He's working, but that job wasn't pleasant. It was peanuts to peanuts. Yeah. So it like kama tungekuwa tunafanya wote ingetusaidia but ni yeye peke yake. And then after after four months, like niko four, four months pregnant, kazi yake akawachishwa kazi. So now we are jobless yeah. and um I'm pregnant. So aka akanichukua, akanipeleka kwao nikiwa pregnant mm -hmm. akanipeleka kwao so before kwanza nipeleke kwao kumbe this man was married eh. with two kids and you didn't notice and i didn't notice and i didn't know <laughs> so he was married with two kids one by that time one was six years the other one was four so at this point when you're meeting him uh -huh. he is not disclosing to you that he he's... never did he never did in fact i saw kids on 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 his phone and i asked he told me ni watoto wa sister yake and me i didn't know i was just very innocent so mm -hmm. okay i said okay so so when he took me home eh, do naambiwa ala they, they he was married for six years akona watoto wawili ndo hawa so okay. now now I am a, I, I am a step mama of two at the age of 19 I'm pregnant you see and I'm four months it now eh? now I'm at home I'm in Peleka Kule na yeye akarudi Nairobi kutafuta kazi mm. you niki tulikuwa comfortable nayo wakati huo hakuna kitu kingine ningefanya hata mm. hakuna there were no option no otherwise chenye unaambiwa fanya ndo ndo nitakuwa ndo nilikuwa nafanya because who am i now i'm desperate yeah. i do i'm desperate sina hata mali ya kuenda mm. mm -hmm. so life in the village starts <laughs> off. you and have I'm two now, kids and uh, you're pregnant yes taking care of two kids i'm pregnant and i'm still like a baby yeah uh, <sighs> is he supporting you by that time yeah. he was jobless supporting oh uh, so ali rudi nairobi kutafuta job kutafuta kazi mm -hmm. sasa nao ameniacha kwa wakono, kwa mikono ya in laws mm -hmm. mama yake na baba yake they were good i cannot say they were bad because they took care of me mm -hmm. yeah okay so how was life in the village this is now you in a strange place this is not the life you used to and you are adjusting of course to all this information that's coming to you mm -hmm. how did that affect you <laughs> <laughs> to be honest i wasn't even shocked i wasn't shocked i don't know how I'm, i am because nili move to na flow mm -hmm. nimepelekwa nimepata nimepata watoto okay well sawa okay. ni kama basi nilikuwa nimechoka kuteseka nilikuwa nimeteseka so unakubali nakubali tu mm -hmm. unakubali tu sasa nikianza kushtuka nishtuke guy 
new environment guy watoto si kuambiwa guy mimi nikishtuka mm. sitasaidika mi nataka tu mali, like nataka kukaa hapa nikae tu because sina mali lingine ya kwenda mama yangu hata ndo ningeambia mambo imenipata alikufa kitambo mm -hmm. so i just like see, it wasn't a shock i nearly adjust to nearly move to na flow nikakaa pale yeah. nikakaa vile walikuwa wanataka like nika move to na flow mm -hmm. yes while in the village that's when you got your baby no i went they took me he took me there when i when i was four months pregnant mm -hmm. now almost five months asa unajua hapo sasa mama mjamzito lazima aende kwa aende clinic yes so i went for my first antenatal clinic nilipelekwa na mother in law mm -hmm. because i was new there in that place akanipeleka yeah so i started my clinics there in the village mm -hmm. yeah during the antenatal clinic because when you introduced yourself you said that you're hiv positive yeah at that point did they run all the tests and what were their reaction towards first of result? all i didn't know ukienda huko unapimwa hizo blood pressure blood yeah. group weight hiv status i didn't know me i just went mm -hmm. i was young as i said so wakati nilienda they took all the tests and i was okay everything right. was okay i was negative for hiv my blood group my like everything was just okay so niliendelea na hizo clinics six it was five months pregnant i went again for six months mm -hmm. na kile ukirudi clinic they do the hiv test. tests yeah. so they were doing Six months pregnant, seven months pregnant. I was still in the village, so they were still doing the test. Eight mm -hmm. months pregnant, I said no. Ah, uh so -uh. some mistake was a little shago. Nataka mtoto wangu akwe bontao. Allah. <laughs> Focus lady. Nataka akwe bontao. I insisted I want to come back in Nairobi. Ah, uh, ni kuje ni zaliuko because now I'm almost due. Yeah. I was eight months pregnant. So I went for that last clinic and they, they did the test. I was still I, I was still negative. negative. So I came in Nairobi not because alikuwa nataka but because nilikuwa nataka nilikuja kwa kichwa yangu like mm -hmm. by force. Yeah. So I came in Nairobi and yeah, I came in Nairobi sasa mm -hmm. when I was eight months pregnant. Yeah. And so life continues you're trying to like adjust to the Nairobi life you're almost due. Mm -hmm. Had you gotten a job at this point? <laughs> Uh, yeah yeah mm -hmm. alikuwa amepata okay. alikuwa amepata so mm, nikakuja nikakuwa ni, na niko ready sasa kujifungua mm -hmm. nikapeleka hospitali they did all the they they never did the tests hawakufanya test walinitisha tu kila kitabia clinic so unaona kuna information yeah hizo yeah, tests zote yes. nikapeana and then i kunisumbua within five five nini hours i have my baby and we went back home wow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. bouncing baby girl yes uh -huh. how is life <laughs> as a new mom how are you adjusting to everything it was hard I know. because now this man mm -hmm. he doesn't want to sit next to me this man nimekwambia kama maji na mafuta because atwezi patana why I, i don't know me i don't know I don't know but when I came mm -hmm. before before kujifungua when I came in Nairobi nilipata vitu zili change he's now dating other women like hata inaonekana tu yani hadharani tu mm -hmm. he's dating different women anapenda ku nini ku clubbing now yeah so that is vitu zenye alikuwa anafanya wakati nilikuwa nilikuwa ushago kwao mm -hmm. so but wakati nilijifungua Um it was really hard because I got sick. Mtoto naye pia alikuwa analia usiku na mchana and I was all alone, yeah. just alone. Yeye yeah, wakati ilimaliza one week, alitoka akaenda ushago, akaniacha peke yangu. So alienda ushago akisema anaenda kuona watoto wale wake wenye wako huko, akaniacha. Mm -hmm. So kujipikia mimi mwenyewe mgonjwa, I've never felt that sick again before at eh hey, nilikuwa mgonjwa kabisa siku hata mtoto naye ndo alikuwa analia non stop maziwa hakuna sijakula sina mtu wa kunisaidia i faced a lot during that time but again before that mm -hmm. i used to have before hata nijifungue i used to have 
yeast infections eh na yo pia ilinisumbua because nilikuwa eh it was worse i don't i don't know how to to describe it mm-hmm. because it was worse so, you know yeast yeah, infection mko na toa discharges zenye ziko mingi and then it was just disgusting so uh, nikatafuta matibabu matibabu wakaniambia nikijifungua itaisha mm-hmm. so wakati nilijifungua iliendelea kwanza ikakuwa was surplus nasikia baridi nini mimi ni mgonjwa sina nguvu ya ametoroka ameenda ushago ameniacha na newborn mm-hmm. na ngangana mtoto amelia usiku mchana usiku mchana mimi mwenyewe ni mgonjwa sina hata nguvu ya kumuinua yeye ameenda kuona watoto wakubwa kule ushago na kwa sasa peke yako na niko peke yangu na sina mtu wa kuniona huku kwetu huku Nairobi sina relative mm. like my stories i don't know even relatives i'm just all alone mm. just alone so I, i because i had no otherwise i had to stay there and be strong for my baby mm-hmm. alimaliza alienda huko ushago akarudi after some i don't know it was five days he came back mm-hmm. he came back with my ung with the mahindi easy machakula za huko kwa shamba and mm-hmm. then he's telling me kwanza wakati alienda akuniachia food again so wakati alirudi alirudi na mahindi nini hizo vitu za shamba mm-hmm. and then he's telling me to pick naanza kuasha jiko na faint because <sighs> Now I am cool. very sick. Sasa hiyo mm-hmm. kufaint ndo akanipeleka hosi. Kunipeleka hosi kupima everything akukwa na kitu inaonekana ati ugonjwa mm-hmm. walipima pneumonia nini malaria everything that walikuwa wanafaa kupima but hawakupima HIV. Mm-hmm. But hizo vitu zingine zote zilikuwa sawa like si kukwa kukuonekana ugonjwa wote. Yeah. So we went back home and he was mad. Umeharibu pesa yangu nini nini? Ah. Umeharibu pesa unajifanya wewe ni mgonjwa, wewe si mgonjwa now he took me back ushago when my daughter was one months old. Akanipeleka kwao sasa because now he is tired with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is tired with me akanipeleka. I went there and nika, nika, nika after some time nikakuwa sawa. Mm. I would take any kind of medication. They gave me um uh, vienyeji herbs and some you mm-hmm. know veget isoma vienyeji za huko so mm-hmm. tukakuwa sawa huko tukakaa huko tena si eti tulirudi tukakaa mpaka mtoto wako ako 4 months 4 months tukarudi tena akaturudisha Nairobi yeah, akarudi mm, akarudi Nairobi akarudisha ushago tena akaturudisha ushago nimekaa ushago nimekaa ushago six months mtoto wangu akiwa six months nikachoka kukaa nikatafuta kazi ushago nikaanza kufanya kazi nilikuwa nalipa 150 per day mm-hmm. so ndo nipate pesa ya kununua uh, nini maziwa Daipas. ya mtoto na diaper mm-hmm. because now he's not giving me money he's giving mama yake because now ana anaona mama yake ndo hata ni chakula tu alikuwa anaona akipea mama yake mama yake a find food we eat so na mimi yeah, mimi na mimi nataka mtoto apate maziwa via diaper akule hata kama ni wita big you know mm-hmm. so i had to look for a job nilikuwa nalipo 150 in a day and I, i i did it for some time mpaka mtoto akafika 9 uh, months old mm-hmm. and then i insisted now i want to come back in nairobi to work in nairobi jo at least pesa ya nairobi iko nzuri mm-hmm. kuliko ya hiyo 150 ya ushago i insisted and then, and then uh, i came back in nairobi sasa hapo <laughs> ndo kaniramba but before ni kuje mm-hmm. now mtoto wangu it was in nine months it was one year mm-hmm. no not nine nine months ndo nilikuwa nafanya kazi huko ni kwa nilipo mm-hmm. eh sasa now it's one year mtoto wangu wako one year one month sasa huyu amekuja baba yake amekuja from nairobi amekuja ushago na mimi si nimekwambia i had to nilikuwa na I used to have yeast infection. Sasa sio yeast infection peke yake. Sasa nimekonda, niko na rashes, huku rashes mingi, nasikia joint pains, nasikia too weird headaches, mm-hmm. niko na headaches za on and off, but hizo hazikunipea wasiwasi. Kitu ilikuwa inanipea wasiwasi ni infection because ilikuwa too worse. So wakati alikuja nikamwambia aje um 
ni ngoje huyu mtoto niende usi usi za huko za dispensary za huko nione kama ndasaidika because nilikuwa nimejaribu kila mahali mm-hmm. imekata so the, there are certain dispensary huko nikamwambia aningoje huyo mtoto niende hiyo dispensary nifanye kutafuta usaidizi juu na umia ah si mimi nikaacha mtoto na nikamwachia baba yake nikaenda mm-hmm. kuenda nikapata eh laini ni mrefu ya matibabu mm-hmm. and then i said ah na hisi wameandika hapa visit is free hapo ndo napitia kwanza ndo nikikuja hivi nipate laini imesonga sasa that is <laughs> another story <laughs> nothing propelled you to want to know your status at this point like i just felt like felt like ah ah bwacha tu niende because mm, imekuwa l- lakini pia mm-hmm. sikuwa naogopanga mimi nilikuwa napenda tu nikiona visit naingia but that time round nilikuwa na hiyo nilikuwa nanyonyesha nimejifungua hata sina time ya kupita pita kwa visit mm-hmm. unaona hiyo hiyo situation uko na ball umejifungua sa so, alafu pia ukiwa na bolu umepimwa pimwa yes. so mm-hmm. this time mtoto wangu wako wani ya nimekauia sasa naona nimemiss hata mm-hmm. kupimwa kwenda visit he nikapitia sasa nikaingia ndo sandu nikirudi hivi kwa line kwa imesonga kuingia visit obviously wanauliza maswali yes. ukipata uko na ukimu utafanya nini ah mm-hmm. hakuna like i was so relaxed <laughs> <laughs> eh nilikuwa tu nimefurahi ni, ni tu sishtuki mm. eh hakuna kitu nitafanya nikipata ni kwa nini nitakubali tu nini sasa tunapiga hapo story mm. and then of course wakatoa damu wakapima eh wakaniuliza unajua kusoma of course najua nikamwambia yeah, najua not the first hey, it's not the first kuweka hapo kuangalia eh line mbili strong red i'm like hii hii eh hadi naanza kuambia daktari wewe eh, umeangalia expiry date ya hii kit ati eh hey, hebu tuone na wewe uko sawa mm-hmm. uko sure hii hizi results ni za uko sure hii damu ni yangu mm-hmm. kwanza because kwanza hata sasa hizo sikuwa nafikiria sasa juu ni kama niko in shock i'm like ah mm-hmm umenidanganya hii kit si yangu na hii damu si yangu daktari ako daktari akaniambia si wewe uko hapa na bado uko na damu tutatoa tu damu nyingine we did another one we did like different tests bado tu imekata kukuwa moja equal positive like clear positive hata hakuna hata hakuna doubts yani ni clear positive hata sijui ni survive aje. Oh, yeah. Wallahi and then kitu yenye ilikuwa inafanya hadi naisha kabisa. Kumbuka nimetoka nyumbani. Nimenyonyesha mtoto wangu wa one year. Yaani mtoto wangu, yani kitu hata sasa niko na, 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 na stress mingi. Hata akili sasa imesimama because what will happen to my yeah. daughter? Eh? What will ha- like like how is she now? Sasa imagine na, na jurumia mimi ndo huyo tena nafaa kufikiria mtoto. Yaani najiuliza na, na nani amenipea na mbona amenipea like mbona sasa how mm? so nilikuwa in in shock yeah. in shock. Asijui kama nilikufa nikafufuka after 10 minutes. Hey, I was in shock. Mm? So yeah nikatoka pale nikaenda hospitali zingine nilizungu eh hey, ku confirm because siamini nikaenda ku confirm dispensary zingine nikienda kama naenda kama wazimu naambia tu daktari nipime tena nipime tu tena inatoka positive natoka haraka hata sitaki kusikia na niambia nini naenda kwingine hata sikugongwa na gari hata sijui Mungu tu alinisaidia mm. because nilikuwa kama nimekuwa wazimu sasa hizo nafikiria mtoto wangu kwanza kitu kubwa sana ni mtoto wangu. Hmm? Because now niko na ukimwi na mtoto wangu na amenyonya. It was really hard for me yeah. and I was very young and I had no one to talk to. That is what pained me a lot. Hmm? I'm so sorry. 
so before ni toke kwa hiyo hospitali mm -hmm. nikienda zingine tena nili tuli <laughs> we made a deal with the doctor mwenye alikuwa ananipima mhm huyo mwenye alikuwa ananitoa damu alikuwa ananiambia nikirudi nyumbani nisiende kusema nisiende ku disclose ni nyamaze yeah since nilikuwa nimemwambia ni nimekuja kufanyiwa kutibiwa yeast infection nirudi nimwambieaje sijatibiwa yeast infection juu nikitibiwa peke yangu itarika inafaa tutibiwe tutibiwe sisi sote so nikishamwambia hivyo ndo tukuje wote tukishakuja ndio we do the same test tukiwa wote ndo wapate kujulia hapo mm -hmm. eh hata sijui nilisikia huyo daktari aje hmm nikaenda mm -hmm. sasa ndo nika, nikaenda kwa hizo different hospitals same results nikarudi nyumbani kumbuka daktari ameniambia nisiambie mtu kwanza ni nyamazi so you can imagine mimi nimejua tu mtu ameniamkiza ukimwi na mimi nimenyamaza kwa hiyo usi walinipea ARVs za siku mbili wakaniambia nikienda nyumbani ni meze moja like hiyo siku ni meze alafu sio siku nyingine ndo tutakuja na endo sasa tutapewa ARV zingine so i did that imagine nilifollow hata sijui nilisikizaje huyo daktari wow. nilifollow tu vile alikuwa ananiambia usiambie mtu kwanza fanya hivi na nikafuata meza hizi na nikameza mm -hmm. so when i went i had to put on a smile and deep down you in pain i'm in a lot of pain a lot a lot of pain mm -hmm. so i had to smile of course kuna mother in law father in law watoto kila mtu wako huko sifai kukaa kama niko heartbroken juu nitaulizwa ni nini mbaya mm -hmm. so i had to fake your smile so i had to tell uh, the, the 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 husband wa hiyo time mm -hmm. that is nikamwambia vile daktari amesema mm -hmm. twende si sote akasema sawa so that day nikameza hiyo ARV that day again we are sleeping on the same bed with the same man i na wakati deep down i'm hurting na siwezi sema na najua tu vizuri ni yeye amenifanyia hivyo najua na muona tu hivi na ninajua amefanya hivi na najua ameniambukiza ukimwi na imebidi nimenyamaza tu ni nyamaze tu mm -hmm. okay it happened like that the following day nikamwambia twende akasema yako busy ah mm -hmm alisema yako busy mm -hmm. so i had to kuwa mpole juu nikianza ku insist anaweza kataa so ilibidi ni kuwa mpole ni nyenyekee nimwambia kitafadhali twende tu kwa sababu mimi naumia nasikia uchungu twende aliyo siku alikataa haya the third day nilimbembeleza saa saba ya mchana ndo anakubali twende usi Tuliacha mtoto tukaenda peke yetu hospitali tuliachia mother in law. Uh, daktari alikuwa anajua the whole story yeah. na mimi pia nimejua but nimenyamaza but I had to act like it is my first time kujua. Eh sasa si daktari akaanza kusema oh for you to get for you to ndo mpate matibabu ya hizi ma yeast infection, infection lazima mpimwe STIs hizo zote mm -hmm. HIV mm -hmm. sasa alileta tu story ndo ndo yes ndo am convinced yeah. to pimwe hiyo eh, HIV wa alikata alikata alisema he is not psychologically prepared mm, not psychologically prepared na akakata mimi nikamwambia sasa jua utaki we uyuko prepared mimi niko prepared ningoje tu hapa ningoje hapa mimi nipime kwanza wewe si uyuko prepared mm. sasa ka hapo ningoje alikata akasema pana unajua e, e, nini ukipatikana uko positive wewe unakuanga na hasira unaweza haribu kila kitu nikamuuliza wewe nani amesema naenda kupatikana niko positive mm -hmm. like who told you we are just doing it like you know we don't know that yeah, yeah. we mbona mbona saa unaleta una story ya nikipatikana niko positive mm -hmm. hey. we begged tulibeg tulibeg daktari alifanya kazi hiyo siku alibeg like i don't know two hours luckily akakubali 
laki akakubali si tukapimwa sasa si sote mvayo vayo let mukabana ana pretend ni mara yake ya kwanza unajua tu results na, na, na najua tu obviously itatokea positive yeah. na niko tu strong kweli niko <laughs> tukatolewa tukapimwa si wameka hapo kwa mm -hmm. flat surface tunangojea <sighs> kutoka laini nne nne zenye zinaonekana vizuri sana yake imetokea positive yangu positive and i'm like sasa unajua at least mimi nime digest siku mbili mm -hmm. nime nime digest hata kama bado niko in shock but at least niko na hiyo information but i had to act shocked i'm like what happened ni nini hii imetoka wapi like nilikuwa namuuliza maswali hakujibu hata moja hakubeba hata mdomo hakujibu mimi nikachoka daktari kwanza alituacha kwa hiyo room akatuacha tukiulizana maswali mimi mm -hmm. namuuliza anijibu nikamwacha hapo pia nikaenda nje yeah Uwe. so ni process this information na kuanza kufikiria vile life itang song after wow. that it was hard very hard kwanza not forgetting mtoto mm -hmm. mtoto yako included kwa this story because ananyonyesha an, ananyonyeshwa ananyonya macho mm -hmm. naona macho zake ziko tu red lakini haongei namuuliza ni nini mm -hmm. ni nini ilifanyika haongei ah mimi nikachoka but of course ni hata hata alikuwa tu guilty yani vile tu alikuwa anakaa alijua tu ni yeye yani alikuwa tu guilty because kama angekuwa guilty angekuwa like eh hey, like you know mtu anaweza behave ujue huyu ako innocent but yeah. for this one he was very much guilty hadi hakuongea mm -hmm. hakuongea na anaongeanga hiyo siku hakuongea so nikamwacha nikarudi kwa room daktari akarudi hata daktari hakutu guide i don't know why hakutu pair guiding and counseling hata mimi the first day nilienda hakunipea guiding and counseling sijui mm -hmm. sijui kama hiyo usiko i don't know but it's okay haya tukarudi ndani akatupatia ARVs akatupea ARVs zetu za kila mtu za one month yeah akapatia akanitupatia akanipea zidovidin nivirapin septrin niende nipe mtoto kwa wenye wanajua hizo hizo dawa za watoto mm -hmm. niende nipe mtoto aende tu, 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 kama inaweza prevent asipate na tena mm -hmm. nimwachishe kunyonyesha immediately yeah. <laughs> hey. wa wow. sasa hiyo stress ilinituanga because mimi nilikuwa nataka nionyeshe mtoto wangu hata mpaka 10 years sasa imagine mtoto wangu ako tu na mwezi mmoja nini ni mwaka tu mmoja peke yake nimeenda tu kumwachisha tu like hata hata with no explanation hmm? na 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 naacha tu kunyonyesha mtoto hivyo it was hard for me bado nafikiria kwa nini aliniambukiza bado nafikiria vitu nyingi sina mtu wa kuambia ndio huyo mtoto naenda kumpea madawa mingi hapo kali mm -hmm. ye hata ajui kitu Anyo, nimeacha sasa kumnyonyesha you know eh it was hard so so ilikuwa twende <laughs> turudi home nipatie mtoto hizo madawa and then the following day nirudishe mtoto turudishe mtoto atolewe afanywe PCR test ile wanatwanga mtoto aende wa test kama hata yako infected ama hapana mm. so yeah so we did it tulienda home nikaachisha mtoto sasa mtoto amelia amelia mother in law ananipigia kelele wewe patia mtoto maziwa ni nini unawachishia una, una mtoto i cannot explain i can't even tell her at nini hivi ime happen na, na, mtu, na kijana yake huyo the, the husband wakati tulikuwa tunaenda home tukitoka hosi aliniambia nisiwahi kaambia mtu tuko tuko positive mm nisiwahi ambia mtu nikamwambia sawa since mimi nafuata tu pepo sina kitu naweza fanya mm. 
niko hivyo tu yani naenda tu nikiambiwa fit fuata hivi na fuata so that is what i did sikuambia mtu mm-hmm. tukaenda hata mother in law asikumwambia mtoto analia nimemnyima maziwa nagombanishwa siwezi explain so mkamfundisha mtoto hosi the following yeah tulimrudisha hosi akafanywa hizo tests ai tukamalizana na i don't want to talk a lot about mtoto acha tu tuachie mm-hmm. hapo yeah. but we did the tests and kila kitu ikakuwa sawa okay. so tukatoka ushago tukatoka sasa ushago tuje Nairobi sasa mimi nitafute kazi Nairobi yeah. so at this point relationship yenu imeanza ku change ama iko affected aje na si results zenye mliambiwa sasa you can imagine mimi mm-hmm. nimeamkizwa ukimwi na, na nimeamkizwa ukimwi sijapewa any explanation exactly. yeah aja fila tasuri hajaongea kitu kitu tu amesema ni usiwahi ambia mtu mm-hmm. hiyo peke yake nikijaribu kumuuliza ulitembea aji ulifanya nini because mimi ndio hii kitabu ya clinic kila mahali ni negative na hakuna vile na ningeenda kutafuta mahali pengine juu nilikuwa na mimba nimeza mtoto ndio huyu one ma, one mm-hmm. year hakuna vile nimeenda kutafuta alinyamaza so i was hurting na sina mtu akwambia siwezi enda inanibidi ina tunakaa pale hata kama na heart so i had to pretend na pretend but deep down i was hurting niko na uchungu hasira you mm-hmm. understand but sasa ikabidi nivumilie kwa sababu ya shida zangu yeah. nikavumilia ndio tukakuja Nairobi ndio nikatafuta kazi nikutukaanza kukaa sasa na yeye Nairobi mm-hmm. nikatafuta kazi tuna tuna hustle si sote mtoto daycare nini yeah your time na kapomoja is the relationship changing are you now becoming more peaceful ama tu mko tu ni kama strangers yeah, yeah, bado ana cheat sasa imekuwa bado ana cheat eh hey, sasa ndo ndo sasa ndo imekuwa tamu mm sasa ana cheat analala hata huko anarudi 4 in the morning kutoka asubuhi mm-hmm. kutoka 6 in the morning to 4 anarudi yes na usiulize swali unauliza aje si utapigwa by the way he was very, very violent and very toxic anaweza angeweza hata kunipiga na kuna kitu nitafanya yeah because i'm desperate mm-hmm. na sina kwetu mm so I, nikavumilia haki nilivumilia na mtoto wangu pale nikavumilia ya yeah, nilivumilia hmm. Hmm. the main reason ulikuwa ukivumilia even all this cheating na kumforgive is it because ulikuwa na hakuna kwenye uniza rudi kwenu ama you really wanted this marriage to work i don't know did you ever think it would change at yeah point? nilikuwa naona of course mwanamke yote yeah, tu unasemanga ah atabadilika tu wacha niendelee ku forgive wacha yeah. niendelee let me give chances labda naweza badilika so and, and then pia nikijiambia hivyo pia at the same time najiambia after all hata hakuna mali naenda sina kwetu so wacha nimpe chance labda atabadilika mm-hmm. jua hata kama naenda naenda wapi unaona hizo vitu mbili sasa zinafuatana yeah. niko na hopes atabadilika at the same time najiambia pia na hata pia nikienda naenda wapi si wacha tu nikae atabadilika mm-hmm. so that is what happened yeah. mm-hmm. so you continued staying together for how long Until... we stayed for some time mm-hmm. but for like one year less less than one year because wakati tulikuja Nairobi my daughter was one one year one month mm-hmm. na nilitoka akiwa 1.6 so it was five months, five months. yeah five mm-hmm. months mm-hmm. for you what was that one thing that made you finally decide i am done with this marriage what alikuwa toxic mm-hmm. na wakati aliniamkiza yeye hakuona kama amefanya kitu aliendelea aliendelea tu, tu kwanza ndio ikakuwa was yani hata na kwanza hiyo like he was violent anakuambia siwende jo anajua uwezi enda siwende haya nikijifanya nimetoroka nimeenda nikirudi ananiuliza kwani kwani ilikuwa urudi yes. umerudi kufanya sasa hizo nazunguka tu na mtoto wangu kwa mgongo nimeenda eh umerudi umerudi kufanya 
kwani ilikuwa urudi ai of course alikuwa anasema hivyo kwa sababu alikuwa anaona si hakuna mahali naweza enda mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so nika nika aki nikavumilia ikafika mahali nikajiamini tu nikasema hapana this is enough mm-hmm. and i nika quit so the reason why nili quit haku feel sorry mm-hmm. hakuona kama amenikosea na alikuwa violent alikuwa na alikuwa tu toxic akisha kunywa pombe anaanza tu mbona hii bulb hujazima yes. like kukua tu peti hivyo vitu hata yani vitu tu peti peti mm. mm-hmm. lafu alikuwa anaweza kupiga hata vibaya sana kama mtoto ya nika ya siku muacha kwa sababu aliniambukiza ukimwi mm-hmm hiyo ingekuwa petty of me so i don't see kama ningemwacha kama you... angekuwa remorseful you think mm-hmm. the story would have been different yes alafu akwe tu mzuri ah stungeendelea tu because he was the father of my he is the father of my daughter so nika nikaona since yeye yeah, aoni alikosa na bado ananisumbua ananipiga na ni mistreat ah wacha mimi niende mm-hmm. so nika gain courage nikatoka mm-hmm. na mtoto wakati nilitoka i started kwa kanyumba kama batika 1500 so wakati nilitoka mm-hmm. hey, now this is interesting mm-hmm. because nilibeba tu sufuria moja kila kitu moja moja vitu zenye kitu yenye nilibeba sana ni nguo za mtoto because alikuwa anahitaji najua mm. so kwa kwa nini kupika stuff kitu tu moja moja sani not moja mbili mbili yangu mm. na mtoto mm. so kitu ilikuwa kwa akili yangu ni hata tutalala huko kwenye tumeenda tutaenda tu hata tutafuta like like hata tutafuta tutarudi tu hata si, nilikuwa natoka sikuwa na maanisha like sikuwa na maanisha natoka ya huko juu sikuwa na jiamini siku ya kwanza hakuna call ya pili hakuna call ya tatu no call ya nne wiki mzima no call wiki ya pili hakuna call mpaka leo ah yes Let's no call no move yes until to dead na it has been three years since you left yes three Before years kweli ama hata ni four mm-hmm. because my daughter was 1.6 saa yako six years mm-hmm. mm. more than ya yeah, more than more than not only 4 to 5 mm-hmm. four years he has never called to ask mono lienda na mlienda wapi how is the child never never hakuna hajawahi na before utoke ulikuwa kwa ndoa miaka ngapi from nilikuwa sunaona nimeshaanza ku date two months mm-hmm. nimepata mimba nimejifungua nine months to calculate eh alafu that was 3 years 3 mm-hmm. years around 3 years around 3 stayed in that marriage 2 to like 2 in end 3 mm-hmm. mm. okay yeah so here you are umeshatoka kwa hiyo ndoa mm. of course kuna hiyo resentment una hold you're trying to come to terms with the whole thing that has happened how is that journey for you eh and throughout the whole process yeah. sijaambia mtu yeah. hakuna mtu anajua hakuna mtu naweza ambia i am just all alone with my baby sasa ni hapo sasa ndo nilipatwangwa na depression depression because hata sija digest vizuri vile nilikuwa na, na, na ukimwi ndoa imeisha ndoa ndo hiyo imeisha na mwenye mwenyewe hata haki hataki kujua mnata mtoto wake yako sawa kwenye alienda na hata wakati tulienda tulitoka kama hayuko mm. hakukua so wakati alikuja si alipata nyumba iko hakuna watu sasa kitu ilikuwa inanisumbua mbona hakuuliza tu walienda like tu anipigie simu aniulize ala kwani mlienda mm. na mbona mlienda because wakati nilitoka hatukwa tumekosana like hiyo siku tu. like hiyo mm-hmm. siku hatukuwa tume, tumeulizana kitu yani si unaona vile anaweza tu toka kwa uzuri aende mm-hmm. kama kawaida like hatujakosana mimi nikatoka tu so hangeweza kunipigia niulize ala 
mbona ulienda ni nini mbaya imefanyika hakuuliza so niko na hizo maswali niko na stress sina pesa mtoto ananiangalia unaona mm. tunateseka sina mtu wa kuambia so wakati liisha one month less it was three weeks since nilikuwa na namba ya mama yake mm-hmm. nikapigia mama yake because singepigia kuna mtu mwingine ningepigia nikapigia mama yake nikamuuliza ukoaje poa nini poa haya akaniuliza na baba Talia anaendelea aje nikamwambia ako poa nikamwambia ako poa haya akasema eh nilikuwa nimeongea na yeye asubuhi akasema watoto Talia ako saa yani anaongea na mama na, na, na mama yake anamwambia sisi tuko kwa nyumba mm. so mama yake yeye anajua sisi tuko, tuko pamoja, tuko pamoja. so conversation yenye mimi na, nafanya na mama yake inaonekana kama like tuko kwa nyumba tunapiga story ya kawaida mm. He mimi nikamwambia Allah mimi nilitoka kita, nilitoka 2 weeks ago kwani haja kuambia hapana mimi hajaniambia si niliongea na yeye juzi akasema mko poa nini mm. mko salama eh sasa ndo nikamwambia mama yake nikamwambia unajua nini tulitoka kwa hiyo boma tulitoka huko kama akukwambia tulitoka na nilitoka na mtoto nikaenda mama yake hata hakushtuka akanyamaza hivyo na mimi nikanyamaza but si kumwambia Uh, uh, siku mwambia story mingi nilimwambia tu tulitoka kwa sababu ya ina hii tumekosana mm. ananisumbua ana cheat nini ah hakunisaidia hata mama yake pia hakunisaidia obviously hata side tuna mtoto wa kijana yake mm-hmm. nikaachana na wao nikaendelea na maisha yangu nikangangana nikakuwa nikanga, nika strong for my baby um, ulifanya nini kujisustain wewe na mtoto wako Uh, kuna hii kazi nilikuwa nafanyanga mm-hmm. ya kusupply bread kwa shops nilikuwa nalipwa 5000 in a month but nilikuwa nalipwa per week 25 na nikusupply mkate ni asubuhi kutoka tu 6 to mm-hmm. around 10 or 11 so ilikuwa ilinisaidia because nyumba ni ya 1500 Mm-hmm. kwa naacha mtoto kwa nyumba tu na hiyo asubuhi nikiamka na muacha melala na supply na rudi tena. Mm-hmm. Na mpata aliamka kitambo amelia amechoka mm-hmm. amekaa kwa mlango na ni hizo manyumba za mabati huko kwa siwe juko ametesekea huko lakini tuli survive ali survive tu. Mm-hmm. Sasa nikirudi na take care na kana e, mpaka the following day hivyo hivyo tu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So ulifanya hivi for how long na tuelezee journey yako ya ku na ku accept na ku decide now it's time for me to open up about my status and encourage people kwa sababu uko na a lot of impact with your story on social media mm-hmm. yeah. it, it took me one year mm-hmm. ku heal ku heal the fact that niko na ukimwi nini na kuna kitu ita change so yeah i didn't take one year but within that one year nilikuwa nime face Uh, stress mingi sana mm-hmm. but nili manage to nilikuwa too strong niliji nilijipea tu nguvu nikajiambia after all hata nikiji stress ni mimi tu hakuna like haita nisaidia ni heal tu nisahau na nijue tu niko na ukimwi na niishi nayo you know mimi mm-hmm. nilijipea tu nguvu nikasema ah it's okay so this one day nikaamka tu nikasema i want to go public because inaniuma mm. hata hakuna mtu nimeambia yani like nilikuwa tunataka kushare yeah. na, na mtu na kuna mtu ningea share na yeye hajui sina mtu wa kuambia mm-hmm. ah mimi nikaamka tu asubuhi nikashare kwa social media kashare watu wengi wakaona <laughs> that was my first time sharing you wrote about it ama you did a video i wrote it on yeah. facebook mm-hmm. yeah What was the reaction like? Eh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> People were shocked. Watu wanasema wewe kwani akili yako ni mbaya, kwani umechizi, umekuwa mwenda wazimu, kuwa serious nini? Yaani they were just shocked. Mm-hmm. Na sasa hizo mimi sikuwa na respond, sikuwa respondia. Nilikuwa nanyamaza nikaacha wakaongea, tena nikafuatisha post nyingine. What was your message on the first post? What did you say? Do you remember the words? 
Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember in the first post, nilisema it is now time I tell you that I am HIV positive and can explain how I got it. Yeah. Yeah. And then you ukafuatisha ingine the following day ilikuwa paragraph mrefu so the following day nikafuatisha ingine because watu walikuwa wanauliza we kwani umekuwa wazimu nini nini nikafuatisha tena ingine ku prove that mimi si wazimu mm -hmm. and i didn't care i didn't care si hata sijui mbona siku care na of course stigma iko yeah. na ilikuwa mm -hmm. na hiyo yote Mi nilikuwa nishajiambia na sasa nimeteseka rejection nimekuwa rejected with at my Tell own dad yeah. my own family siwajui siwajui sasa ndio mtu tu atakuja aanze kuni ni, ni, ni reject na kuni stigmatize nime survive all alone kutoka nikiwa 9 years mpaka niko i was now 22 mm -hmm. years nime survive peke yangu ndio sasa saa hii yani nilikuwa tunajipea hiyo nguvu nguvu yote na kujiambia kama nime survive hii sisi siku zote ndio itakuwa tu kusema niko na ukimu also nilikuwa nataka kuisema kuisema juu mm -hmm. nilikuwa najua kuna mtu mwingine mwenye ako tu kama mimi yes. mwenye hana mtu wa kuambia so nilikuwa najiambia hata after all nikisema nitapea mtu mwingine like nilikuwa tu like sijui nilikuwa nafikiria aje nilikuwa tunafikiria positive at that time wow. si kukuwa hata na uoga na sasa hizo niko tu peke yangu nika post sasa nikaendelea ku na kuendelea hadi wakazoea mm -hmm. uko ya social media facebook wakazoea mm -hmm. yeah. because of you sharing your story kwa social media na sasa hizi kuna a lot of impact especially kwa tiktok because you really talk about it mm -hmm. kumekuwa na reaction ya watu pia kukuja na kushare that you've changed their life one way or the other through your story eh a lot of people mm -hmm. i get kwanza hata i get a lot of calls in wow. a day ndo watu wako na ukimwi hata labda rafiki yako mwenye uko karibu na yeye tu hapo wako na ukimwi na you can never know yeah. you can't tell na hawezi kukuambia reason reason being ninapata calls oh nimefanya hivi sasa nitafanya nini oh haki nimepimwa tu leo nikapatikana niko na ukimwi kisijui mimi sina hope haki ninamwambia hapana relax enda tu kwa page yangu angalia vile huyo msichana ako hapo vile ni mrembo yes. eh angalia tu vile anafanya kazi yake alafu utajipea nguvu after some time ananiambia haki asante bye asante sana umenisaidia eh i wow. get a lot of like hadi nasikia tu vizuri naona i don't regret kukuja kusema niko positive because nimesaidia watu nimesaidia watu wengi sana mm -hmm. wenye hata hawawezi kuja unajua hawawezi kuja kusema vayo alinisaidia mm -hmm. because wanaogopa stigma wakikuja kusema your story like they can't say yeah. but in real sense i have helped hata tu wenye wana watch videos zangu mm -hmm. wenye wananiangalia tu wanapata nguvu wanasema kama huyu vayo Uh, violet mm -hmm. mimi vayo niko niko hivyo vile naendelea yes. like niko positive na niko tu sawa niko healthy pia wao nini nawazuia yani wanapata nguvu so na feel vizuri nimepea hope watu wengi vanya umeshare history yako na umepata such positive response from mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. is there something you wish you could do but you can't do it now especially for people who look up to you na wanashangaa ile ota pick up pieces of life yao through you and Karen yeah kuna because for the longest i've been i've been thinking of a, a call center yeah. but sasa you know ata kama ata as we are speaking right now i still don't have anyone to talk to bado niko tu peke yangu you see mm -hmm. yani niko hivi like hata sina mtu mwenye naweza naambia plan yangu mm -hmm. na feel ni kwena hii call center at least watu wa kwe wakini access nikiwapea hizo hata kama i'm not a, a, a nurse or a doctor but niko na experience yeah. naweza pea mtu to like encouragement na hizo like sasa sina mtu wa kuambia kumwambia ti nataka hivi nisaidie mm -hmm. so hata na end up tu kuendelea tu ku inspire watu social media tu yeah. for free hivyo tu yeah mm -hmm. um what do you do right now other than helping people through your story 
una sustainable life yako una somesha mtoto vipi una how do you earn a living now i, I do business mm -hmm. i'm a business woman for those who know me from tiktok hey very popular over there <laughs> But that's who know you from TikTok. Mona mbaka ni smile because I have a lot of uh, a lot of support system yes, from TikTok. I have seen a lot and kwanza hata nitawashukuru sana watu wa TikTok <laughs> because wao ndo wanafanya na kam rembo hivi. <laughs> because at least I, I get money to take care of me and my baby yeah. from TikTok because I sell online uh, ladies wears yeah yeah and they support me so much that's good Thank i've you. seen some of the things you do and they are very beautiful outfits yeah they really love my my outfits mm -hmm. they love so much you're doing such a good job thank you right now you've you've come out in the open and you've shared your story mm -hmm. and of course the lessons that you've learned throughout this journey do you ever look back and wish you took a different you made a different decision you took a different step other than what led you to where you are now do you have any regrets One, two, three. i don't always regret mm. i have never regretted in my whole life hata o kwa nini nilisijui nilikutana na huyu jamaa kwa nini aliniamkiza in fact i am very happy that he infected me with hiv because saa hii ningekuwa huko mashambani nikilima huko nikiteseka so i don't regret I don't kabisa. Yeah. yeah. You have gone through such a uh, challenging marriage na within such a short time imeisha ikakwacha na heartache and you may heal peke yako. Mm. Has that changed your perception about marriage going forward? Would you ever trust someone like that again? Uh, yeah, you know, stake mm. kusema siezi trust marriage. Yeah. Because marriage is a good thing. It is. Yeah, it is. But that is kama umepata mtu the correct person. But all I can say ni if you are in marriage, uh, kitu yenye unafaa kufanya ni you don't keep on uh, forgiving your partner. Yeah. Ukipata tu ame cheat, achana na yeye. Mimi I don't. Mimi yake ni kuna very bad experience. And always nitakuwa na advice to mtu if your partner is cheating do not give them second chances because they will not stop a cheater is always a cheater nata kuletea ukimwi kama vile violet aliletea mm -hmm. so i hiyo ndo kitu ina like anybody nitamu advice to you mm -hmm. yeah because kama mimi nili spot hizo cheating na nika ignore nikakaa tu pale what happened next mm -hmm. Kim. what gives you strength to wake up every day and face life my daughter <laughs> my daughter because i kama sitakuwa yeah mtoto wangu atateseka because mtoto wangu anajua mimi peke yake yeah so kama sitakuwa hata sijui ata, sijui atateseka kivipi ni sasa yeye ndo ananipatia nguvu ya kuamka asubuhi na kufanya kazi. Yeah. yeah. Na kuendelea kuishi na kuto give up. Mimi yes. ni mtu mwenye siwezi give up. Siwezi no matter what. Giving up it can't be my it can't be an option to yes. me. Yeah. You have to keep on pushing. Yes, I have to. Mm -hmm. mm. Talk to that young woman or man who has just found out their status and they don't know where to start they are probably thinking akona bitterness akona anger akona pain because why did this person do this to me it, tell them it something. is it is normal to feel that way yeah it is like it is just normal akuna vile utapatikana leo umeambukizwa alafu feel to ukosa like lazima ufi kama mimi i even tempted like if i start talking about the whole thing atutamaliza because nilijaribu hadi kujimaliza but it failed completely so i know it's it, i know najua vile mtu mwenye amepatikana ako positive vile najua vile ana feel yeah. and it is normal to feel that way so anafa ku hang just hang in there yes. hang in there angalia pictures of ayo so far pictures of how vitu wanafanya vile ako happy by them i'm always very happy nini you can use that one kujipatia nguvu 
um, pia maybe kuna wengine wenye siwajui na mnaweza wajua you go check them out because HIV is not a death sentence it's true yeah it's not tunaishi normal life we live normal life we have normal like tunaishi tu kama watu wengine wa kawaida so sio kitu ya kupatia stress mm-hmm. but for the first few days or months then you um, patikana uko nayo it is normal to feel that way lakini mm-hmm. itaisha tu with time mtu asi like don't overthink kama mtu aanze kufikiria ku take their lives ama ku give ku give up na maisha hapana just hang in there it will be okay lakini kama mm-hmm. umepatikana uko na ukimu usikuje kutuambia huku kama hauna nguvu because oh. hey stigma stri yo <laughs> rejection okay. stigma bado iko iko stigma rejection discrimination hizo zote ziko ni vile tunajifanyanga tu ati hakuna ati tunajiambianga ati ukimwi siku hizi tu ni homa ukimwi kila mtu ako na ukimwi uongo wana tunaogopa wenye wanasema siku hizi ukimwi ni homa hao ndo wanaogopa hiyo ukimwi wakipatwa na hiyo ukimwi <laughs> What are some of the worst things to me kufanya kwa sababu ya rejection na, na na insults insults kwanza huku social media mtu anakutusi tu anakuambia wewe uli, ukuweka miguu pamoja ulikuwa unazunguka zunguka huku sasa hivi unakuja unatuambia hapa tuko na ukimwi atukukuepo wakati ulikuwa una eh hey, rejection nayo uwezi pata hata boyfriend Boyfriend ukimwambia tu uko na ukimwi anakimbia mbio. Ameona moto fire. Mm-hmm. Mbio. So it, it's it's very it's hard. Who did la jinayo? Mimi mimi hata nimeshazoea. I don't care. Mimi I don't mean I don't care as long as I'm okay. My daughter is okay. Hizo vitu zingine ni story tu. A while back tulikuwa na ukiwa publicly in a relationship mm-hmm. na it was very publicized we don't know what transpired that would give life will go and uh, will go on between the two of you na vile mlikuja mkagrico pathways tell us a little about that mwenye alikuwa public mwenye tulikuwa na public yes. yeah mm-hmm. haikukuwa rahisi pia labda sina nyota chakusema hivyo uliko unajua this is it for you mhm wakati yeah. mli meet mm-hmm. Uh, ilikuwa vipi mkamiti na tulimit mkamu. TikTok okay and uh, of course he sorted to, to go public about about our status, status yeah. so to commit on TikTok and we um tuka agree kuanza ku date and tuka yeah tukaanza tuka tuka kwa into the relationship yeah mhm mm-hmm. like last how long it was it last for some time but uh, Um, ai kukua mzuri vile kukua ai kukua mzuri let me just be honest mm-hmm. yeah unaweza tuambia some of the things zenye zilifanya ukafeel hautaki kukaa kwa hiyo relationship ama zenye ziliwafanya mka draw apart like misunderstandings well, the other one doesn't want to understand me i don't want to understand him and ikakuwa too much to ka separate ways Eh. wakati lifika hapo pa ku separate did the two of you sit together and say okay this is not working let's dissolve the relationship ama ilikuwa aje now like kwanza before before that we separate kulikuwa anga tuna issues kugombana kukasirikiana you know the, the, like i don't know ilikuwa tu mbaya you know when the when kama mwana in, in a relationship yeah. mwanaume ndo anafaa kukua mwanaume you know mwanaume yani ndo anafaa ku, 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 ku lead ku take charge yeah, yeah. ku take charge yani kukua mwanaume kukua na respons- ku take responsibilities na kukua you understand that yeah. ya kukusimamia familia but sasa hapa Violet Mkabana ndo alikuwa bwana na bibi kwa hiyo relationship mlikuwa mkishi pamoja yes tulikuwa tunaishi pamoja by the way mm-hmm. so i was like taking all the responsibilities zangu na za mwanaume pia and it was too much for me yeah mm-hmm. that is why nearly quit uki bring up hii concern inyulikuwa nayo about taking charge and 
helping each other na expenses za nyumba uliko unapata reaction gani you know for me i don't like complaining about money yeah. or maybe atina nafanya hii and then i complain oh hapana mimi that wasn't my problem my problem was this person doesn't care whether i am taking responsibilities or not yani doesn't care ako tu he's not even thinking afikiria haoni kama huyu mdada anafanya extra yani anafanya kila kitu yani yuko tu you know these men wenye mm. they can't think like and i wasn't mm. comfortable with that i love pia a lot of pettiness issues yeah do you want us do you want to talk more about it and tell us what um, exactly happened So there is kuna hii kitu yenye yenye like mimi lazima ni kwa mtu mwenye ananisaidia kazi because i wake up very early in the morning nikienda gikomba ku thrift yeah. so na niko na mtoto anaenda shule so i have to have a nanny ama a helper yeah. mwenye anaweza kuwa ananisaidia so mara ya kwanza we had one na yeye ndo alileta the 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 ex boyfriend yeye ndo alimleta mm-hmm. wakati alimleta i don't know what happened nini nini petty issues akaenda mm-hmm. tena akaleta mwingine so wakati alileta huyu mwingine and then tukaka tu vizuri tukakaa vizuri all of a sudden anaanza kutaka my helper house manager anamkatia yes una find out aje mimi so. na found out aje mm-hmm. <laughs> Sasa si anamkatia mimi nimeamka asubuhi nimeenda gikomba kazi zangu. Ni amebaki kwa nyumba akikuwa na hiyo sasa freedom ya kufanya vile anataka. So this nani alikuja akaniambia. Mm. Akaniambia kivayo. Nime nimechoka. Ananifanyia hivi, ananiambia nishike shike huku, ananiambia ni kiss nini, Ana, nani ananiambia. Sasa mimi wakati aliniambia na mimi nakuanga mtu wa niko tu compost yani si kutaka le, unona hiyo maturity ya you don't want to cause chaos mm-hmm. sasa nikanyamaza siku react nikanyamaza <sighs> so nikanyamaza na nika pretend kuna kitu ina happen yani nika, najua ku pretend nika pretend hata sijui kitu tukaendelea tu lakini hiyo ku pretend pia ni mbaya because yani una feel tu mtu ana amekukosea but yeah. una, una pretend pretending si mzuri because yeah si mzuri because mimi nilikuwa naumia but najifanya mm. so ikakaa hivyo sasa si unaona yeye anamuona anamtaka yeye ndo anamfurahisha sasa mimi simfurahishi unaona mimi mm-hmm. sasa nime simtaki like hanitaki unaona ndo aende kukatia mwingine na mimi niko kwa hiyo nyumba sina maanisha mimi ana aja na mimi sasa mm-hmm. so that is what happened and um, nikanyamaza so kulikuwa na chaos tu mavisirani analeta visirani mimi nakasirika anakatia msichana wa kazi na afanye kitu mimi ndo na provide kila kitu hapo because he was jobless and mm-hmm. he still jobless anaka mimi naenda na sikuwa na complain mimi sikuwa na complain nafanya tu sasa ananikasirisha mimi nangangana nilete food on the table na ye anangangana kukatia msichana wa kazi haya nikavumilia nikavumilia sasa huyu msichana wa kazi naye alimkataa kabisa naye alimkataa akasema hapana mimi siwezi fanyia mwanamke mwenzangu hivyo alikataa so wakati alikataa huyu mwanaume akasema aje akaanza kuwa peti na sasa anaanza kuniambia huyu msichana wa kazi afanyi kazi yake vizuri imagine amelala sijui mpaka saa ngapi imagine sijui hiyo yani peti peti vitu peti mm. ndo amfukuze alete mwingine sasa ndo nikaanza ku relate ama yule mwenye alileta akamfukuza alishamalizana na yeye mm-hmm. ndo akamtuma akaenda akaleta huyu amemshinda anataka kumtuma alete mwingine so I was overthinking vitu kama hizo yeah. you know because yetu ndo analetanga anafukuza yeye mwenyewe analeta 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 mfanyikazi analeta vitu peti 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 ndo amfukuza nikaanza ku relate so there is this time anaanza kusema oh sijui amefanya hivi akafanya hivi nini mimi nikamwambia are you sure huyo msichana afanye kazi yake vizuri 
uko na kitu kingine unamuuliza ama uko sure wewe unaona afanye kazi. Jo mimi naona ananifanyia kazi. Kwanza anafanya kazi vizuri sana. Hata huwa si complain. He hapana. Nini? Afanye kazi kumbe. Kumbe ni ya, kumbe amenyimwa. Amenyimwa amekataliwa. Haya. Sasa tukaanza kuagiu this this day yenye sasa tuli separate tukaanza kuagi hiyo siku msichana wa kazi akakasirika akamwambia wewe sema ukweli ulinikatia nikakukata ulikuwa unanifanyia hivi na unanishikashika unanifanyia fanyia hivi na hivi sasa yeye aka huyu demu eh, akaambia huyu huyu mwanaume lakini mimi si kusema mimi mpaka that time nimenyamaza na muuliza tu are you sure afanyi kazi vizuri mm. uko sure Ah na simi naona tu anafanya vizuri sasa tunagombana. Huyu demu amekasirika anataka kufutwa kazi na yeye hajafanya kitu. Jua alikuwa anagombana. Hati naweza mpea fair kesho nini hizo stuffs. Mm. Demu akakasirika. Unataka kunifuta kazi kwa sababu nimekukata. Nime sasa hapo ndo akasema na mimi wakati tu msichana alisema hivyo hasira yangu sasa ndo ikapanda. Mm -hmm. Niligombana because sikuwa nataka mimi ndo ni ati mimi ndo nimesema hata sijui Mungu tu ilipitia ndani ya huyo msichana akakuja akakonfess tu mbele yetu si sote sasa ndo asira tuligombana that day the, that night ya akachukua simu yake akaenda live on TikTok so people recorded everything watu wali record na sasa hiyo masaa mimi nilikuwa nimekasirika nilikuwa naongea kila kitu nilikuwa naongea kila kitu juu mimi ni mtu wa kunyamaza lakini kama nimekasirika ndo nakumbuka kila kitu yenye imefanyika ndo sasa nilikuwa na na na, 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 na react sasa naongea na hasira nikaongea ako TikTok live wewe uliko kijua ako TikTok wakati uliko kiongea si nilikuwa najua lakini siezi nyamaza juu nimekasirika mm. nimekasirika na yeye hey, kwa hiyo TikTok hajanyamaza ananiambia toka enda Unafanya nini hapa kwangu? Enda. Hata kuna kitu aliongea vitu mbaya for those who fuatilia us on TikTok they know his mm. kind of words alikuwa anasema. So it was worse and sasa vile aliniambia toka enda mimi nilitoka na mtoto na nani tukaenda sisi sote. Ukaanza life tena. Tukaanza yeah. nikaanza tena life nimepitia. <laughs> nikaanza tena afresh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bado uja give up na la. Ah, sija give up. Imagine utapata mtu. Ana atakuwa accept vile tu huko. Naweza furahi sana. Utakushangilia huku na mtu ite harusi sisi tunapenda cake na mchele. Bas, ndawaita. <laughs> wish me all the best. Mambo ya kitambo anafatu ku teach lessons. Mm. Do you ever um, did you ever talk to him after my hammer umetoka hapo? Ni yeye alinitafuta. Mhm. Mm alinitafuta but mimi si kutaka because nilimsamea mara nyingi mm. mara nyingi sasa nilikuwa nimechoka na siwezi tena so nilikata akikutafuta alikuwa akitaka mtry tena jurudiani oh. na mimi nilihama kutoka hapa nikakuja hapa akiwe ni nani kwa sababu ilikuwa usiku <laughs> okay. ameniambia toka enda sijajipanga na kuna vacant hapa nyuma hivyo hivyo Ah, so nikaru... sasa ni majirani sasa get moja get moja tunatoka get moja so nikakaa hapo for two months sasa nikahama sasa okay. nikajipanga vizuri nikahama sasa saa hii mm. hawezi niona hawezi nipata hata hawezi fanya like hata sitaki si mambo yake kusikia kabisa uko na message yake leo hii ah yeye atafute tu pesa ah. <laughs> <laughs> awache mambo mingi huyo okay. aende huyo huyo kuna mtu ashai ku reject because umeshare status yako na probably hakujua like in terms of relationship alikuwa interested in you and then akadiscover eh hey, huyu ni ule vaeo wa TikTok yes yes i used to have someone uh, i used to have some other mtu mwingine of course he is single of mtu huwezi tu ka single so wakati niliachana na maybe daddy i started dating some other man and then hakukuwa najua niko positive na siku muambia kwa sababu ni ngumu kuambia tu mtu unaogopa rejection mm. so mimi nilikuwa naogopa rejection siku muambia but of course nilikuwa na meza dawa na mtu mwenye na meza dawa hawezi vizuri na kwa undetectable hawezi ambukizana mm. ukimu okay. so i knew i'm safe and he was safe with me so i kept quiet but when but of course nilikuwa social media was si sana kama saa hii kama saa hii ilikuwa kidogo akakuja akajua aka akapatana na posi zangu akajua
kujua <laughs> akakuwa mad like mbona umeujaniambia nini ni we went for a test he was negative but of course tulikuwa tusha date for more than five months so he was negative na ukishapimwa like kupimwa mtu ndo ujue mtu kama ako positive ama hapana you have to go for a test after three months yeah. and utapata conclusive results so that for hours it was five months so of course it was conclusive he was negative and since that that day sijawahi muona tena ali disappear completely hajawahi nipigia hajawahi fanya kitu mpaka leo so una kamingi tu tutams na the reality is to go ground this mm. is some of the reaction we expect mm. from people yeah well but but don't give up you know some day you will end up with somebody who will accept you the way you are yeah okay so when they give up <laughs> yes your option to me yeah yes your option yeah yes wakati kwa sababu umeshare story yako mm. na niko sure kuna watu wangependa ku reach out to you mm-hmm. who encourage hata wa ku support kwa business yako how can these people reach you Um, in all my social media platforms yes. night of violet mukabana mm-hmm. everywhere violet mukabana mostly on tiktok ukifika pale utapata biashara yangu vile wanafanya you can be able to pick what you want vitu zenye unapenda una screenshot and then you whatsapp this number 07 95 41 59 59 Awesome. Na itakuja jina gani? Violet Mukabana. Violet Mukabana. Yeah. Tunashukuru sana sana kwa muda wako na kuamua kukuja hapa kushare story yako na sisi mm. na kuinspire the millions of Kenyans wanyo wana to support through viewing our stories and supporting our guests. Tunakuappreciate sana sana. Okay. And we wish you all the best. Thank you. Tuko family you have heard the story of Violet And I'm sure you're inspired and you've learned a thing or two about how life sometimes changes when we choose a path of forgiveness over and over. Sometimes it may end up good, but other times you can't really predict. Now are you there and you're wishing to support Violet through her business or you just want her to advise you pick up a few lessons in life and move forward? Please reach out to her through the number that we shall put on the pinned comment and please 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 run to her TikTok all our social media platforms that we shall put right here on the pinned comment support her like share subscribe she's doing such an amazing job and the least we can do is to support a girl to thrive through and through thank you so much for staying with us till the end of the show my name is Yvonne Kawera see you next time